Hi friends, DK this side. It's a Saturday. Every Saturday, we come up with a comprehensive video on US stock market, covering the comprehensive analysis of S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and US 30 indices, which are probably the most tracked indices in the world. This comprehensive analysis video helps all of us to be ready and be confident for the upcoming week in the stock market. Although in the last week, S&P 500 or SPX and NASDAQ 100 were bearish. And this was the second week of bearish move in S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100. However, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index or US 30 was marginally bullish. So if you ask me the broader opinion for the next week, market may remain little sideways, choppy, but eventually uptrend will resume. Market has almost reached to the important support area, which I will explain to you when we go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis on these indices. Friends, do not forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Let's begin. How did market perform when the market closed in the week on 11th of August? S&P 500 was bearish by 0.31%. However, the Nasdaq 100 was bearish by 1.62%. So S&P 500 outperformed the Nasdaq 100. Now, US 30 index was bullish by 0.62% and hence there was a mixed kind of move in the US stock market. Before we go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis on these indices, let us check out the market sentiments that prevailed on closing of the past week's market. If we refer to fear and greed index with respect to S&P 500, on the week's closing, it reads at 66, which implies that it is in a greed zone. If you check the overall movement of fear and greed index over the past one month, it has been oscillating between extreme greed zone to the greed zone. So despite of the correction in S&P 500, the market is looking greedy. If we check the market momentum with respect to the trading price of S&P 500, it is far too away on upside from simple moving average 125. So this also indicates that the market is in greed zone. If we refer to the put call ratio, it currently reads at 0.88. So this is coming closer to one, which means market is in a neutral territory. And when put call ratio comes quite in vicinity of one, as it reads at 0.88, there could be a loss of downside momentum in the price action in the market, which we will see when we go to the price chart. Friends, do not forget to like the video. Let us straight away go to the price chart to begin our technical analysis on these indices. This is the price chart of SPX in weekly time frame. Index closed in the last week at 4,464.06. Thereby, it was a bearish by 0.31% on week-to-week -week basis. Now, if you see the holistically this price uh, action on the price chart of SPX, what we find, it was in a massive bearish move. Finally, price took support in the zone of SMA 200 and SMA 233. And then higher highs and higher lows market structure is in place. So overall trend is bullish in this index. I have done some of the technical studies, which I would like to uh, superimpose on the price chart. If you see the price action, this correction is taking place since past two weeks. If you closely refer to the candle of the last week, it is something kind of a small body candle in comparison to that of the prior week candle, which shows the loss of downside momentum being a spinning top kind of candlestick pattern. Now, 
if he can understand why this correction is taking place over here based on the price action or chart pattern, then we will be in a better position to project the price in future. Now, if you see after a massive downtrending move, we needed a reversal chart pattern. So this was the left shoulder, head formation, right shoulder and a breakout of inverse head and shoulder. And this is nothing but the neckline of inverse head and shoulder. If we project the target, calculate the target based on this uh, reversal chart pattern, what we find we projected from the point of breakout, it attained the first target on upside move and there was a loss of upside momentum. So it is the correction is a expected move. It is nothing like that the correction is taking place and the technical analysis was uh, not able to project that. Here, this was a resistance area. We can see from where the downtrending began. So this area was a additional added resistance. We can see the multiple price rejection in this area. So this particular correction was well expected because the price reached to 61.8% retracement level or expansion level with respect to the inverse head and shoulder. Now, what does it indicate? After this correction is over, which is almost seems to be over because of the formation of the spinning top indicating the loss of downside momentum. The next move could be to 100% expansion, which comes at 4,935. So there is a possibility of much upside move in S&P 500. Now, what we can see based on the price action. Can you see the multiple price rejection here for three weeks in a row? So this area 4,443.64 is a very important area. When we go to the daily price chart, I'll explain further on this price level. So this area is a very important consolidation area. So 4,412 to 4,443 becomes a very important support area or demand area where the price is currently trading at the upper fiber of this consolidation band. Now on upside move, there is a resistance shown by this candle, price rejection, large upper shadow kind of formation. So immediate resistance could be to 4,527. Now let us move to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action. What we can see in this index, during the last trading session, this was a gap down opening but there was no follow through. What does it indicate? It indicates loss of downside momentum. This was the existence of a gap at 4,443.64 and hence almost the gap has been filled because gap was created here at 4,443.64 and the last trading session low is 4,443.98. So it has missed by few cents. However, uh, it is, technically it can be considered as the gap filled. However, if you see the price action here, EMA 55 edges over here and this was the last impulsive wave. So 4,412 becomes an important support based on the price action here. Multiple price rejection can be seen. Can we check the retracement level to find some more confluence? If we draw the retracement with respect to the prior impulsive wave, 61.8% retracement level, which is a golden ratio comes at 4,437. So this zone uh, of 4,412 to 4,443, when we combine retracement with the price action and action of the moving averages, this seems to be a good support area. Now this area of consolidation where the multiple price rejection can be seen will be immediate area of resistance in a zone of 4,500 to 4,527. And even if this uh, resistance area is taken out due to excessive demand, then there is an existence of a gap over here, which will act as a resistance at 4,567. Once this gap is filled up, then probably upside move in this index will start and there is a resistance at 4,663 based on the price action. What does it indicate? If the 
correction is over and the uptrend resumes, then the market structure would be something like this. Price will go to this area of uh, supply at 4,663, then will show some kind of correction. And at that point of time, this area will act as a good support for its move upside on 100% expansion, which falls at 4,935. So S&P 500 is preparing towards 4,900 plus level as per the price action that we have discussed. Now let us go to the NASDAQ 100 to undertake the technical analysis. Now we are referring to NASDAQ 100 index in weekly time frame. This index in the last week closed at 15,028.07, thereby it was bearish by 1.62% on a week to week basis. Now here too, it was in a massive downtrending mode. Here the price weight, the multiple bottoms, apex of the multiple bottom gave a breakout. This was the throwback price tested the neckline of this double bottom pattern or multi bottom pattern and then uptrend resumes. Now, if we can find out why the correction is taking place in NASDAQ 100, that will be that much easier to project the price in the future. Now, why this correction is taking place? Here, if you can see this trend line, which was acting as a resistance. So this is virtually a neckline of inverse head and shoulder. Left shoulder, head is in place, right shoulder and a breakout over here. So if we calculate the target on the basis of this inverse head and shoulder and project from the point of breakout, what we can see, it has attained the both the targets. First target was here at 14,435 where the target got achieved and then the price consolidated for a day. And then again, upside move uh, took place in this index where 100% expansion target has been achieved. And then this correction is taking place. So correction is taking place well as per expectation based on the price action and chart analysis. Now the correction is started here from something around 15,800 level, which was an area of consolidation. So this entire band will act as a supply zone in this index. So even if it moves next to next level, the all time high is 16,764. Level is the all time high for NASDAQ 100. So based on price action in NASDAQ 100, what we can see, multiple price rejection edges over here. Can we see here? Multiple price rejection edges over here. Price consolidated in this area, and then this breakout took place. So this zone will act as a good support from a range of 14,815 to 15,000. So we can conclude that the NASDAQ is currently trading quite in vicinity of the demand area. So not much correction is left in NASDAQ 100. Let us go to the daily chart to understand the recent price action. What we can see during the last trading session. This was a you know, something kind of A, B, C, and this is seems to be D, which is an extended A, B, C, D pattern on the price action. Last trading session in NASDAQ was a gap down opening and a formation of nearly inverted hammer kind of a structure. Not exactly inverted hammer, but there is a small body to the candle indicating the loss of downside moment. And so this area where the price took multiple support, and this is the area of consolidation, this bullish uh, candlestick pattern, median has around 14,850 to 14,850 to 15,000 seems to be good support. And this is further uh, reinforced by the fact that there is an intervention of EMA 55 in this zone, which itself will act as a dynamic support in this index. So there is not much correction left in this index. On upside move, there'll be immediate resistance. Can we see the price rejection, price rejection? This was the cup and handle kind of pattern. Neckline edges over here, price took support over here. So 15,275 is a immediate resistance in this index. And then there's an existence of gap over here. So this gap itself will provide resistance to this index. Where is this gap? If I calculate the precise value of the gap, it exists at 15,636.57. So 
So this area is an important supply area. Once this gap gets filled, then probably uptrend will resume in this index and the next possible target could be to 15,700 level where it will face some kind of resistance as we have discussed in the weekly price chart. Now let us go to the US 30 or Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to do the technical analysis on the price chart. This is the weekly price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. The index closed in the last week, defending 35,000 level, and it finally closed at 35,007.41. Thereby, this index was bullish by 0.62%, outperforming the broader market index, S&P 500, and NASDAQ 100. Now, what we can see in this index, there are interesting price action, multiple price rejection, multiple price rejection, multiple price rejection. So after a massive downtrending move, market structure turned into higher highs and higher lows. In the process, it made the cup and handle kind of pattern. And this area was, you know, very strong resistance. Finally, it gave a breakout over here. This is a cup and handle, which is a continuation chart pattern, which got formed. So the price is now correcting simply because price reached to the important resistance area. We can see the multiple price rejection over here. But if we calculate the target based on cup and handle continuation chart pattern, the target arrives at 36,614. So there is a great chance that this important supply area of 35,642, 36,112, where the price has multiple resistance, could ultimately and eventually be broken up. So overall trend in this index is looking uh, bullish and it is now racing towards the 36,600 plus level where it will face resistance because there is a multiple price rejection ultimately formed here double top kind of pattern and which gave a breakdown here resulting into a bearish move in this index. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action. What we can see here. The overall structure is bullish, short-term trend, intermediate trend, long-term trend is bullish. This trend line was acting as a resistance, multiple resistance. This trend line acted as a support. So there was virtually a breakout of a rising wedge kind of a structure over here, indicating the expansion in the price. Now, during the correction, upper fiber of this rising wedge kind of a structure, which happens to be the confluence of EMA 21 as well is acting as a support here where we can see price has taken support multiple times. During the last trading session of the last week, there is a formation of a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. So based on the price action, this area is an important resistance area at 35,640. Once this area is taken out, then next level of resistance could be to 36,112. But as per my opinion, it is almost going towards 36,600 and plus level. Based on the price action, where are the support area? Price is trading quite in vicinity of the support area. We can see the formation of cup and handle pattern. This is the neckline. So 34,590 to 34,000. 900 is an important demand area and there is a intervention of EMA 55 as well over here. So this area is likely to act as a demand area. So friends, give a lot of thumbs up to this video. I'll be expecting your comments and feedback in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.